Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. If there's one thing that I know that we all need right now, and that's hope. Now here's what I wanna tell you. Hope is not rejoicing in what you can see. The Apostle Paul talks about this in the book of Romans, but really, we hope in things that we do not see. I always like to define the word hope the same way. I take it H-O-P-E, having only positive expectations. Now here's the thing. I don't want you to hope and hope because hoping in hope, there's no grounding for the hope that you have. I want you to hope in Jesus. And the reason you can hope in Jesus is because Jesus came on a rescue mission on the earth. He always did those things that pleased his father. He died on a cross for the sins of the world and he rose again and he's alive right now. And the reason you can hope in Jesus is because Jesus conquered sin, shame, and death. And because he's alive right now, there is so much hope we can have. And the key for us with hope is to get our eyes off of the circumstances and onto our Savior. And when we're able to do that, to move from looking at our circumstances to looking at Jesus, now all of a sudden we realize that we're in the middle chapters and God is not done writing the story he's writing in this situation. And because we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who are the called according to his purpose, no matter what we're going through, no matter how heartbreaking it is, and believe me, I know some things Things that are going on are just horrible right now. I can tell you that we can be people of hope because we know that the cross was the worst thing ever, but it gave way to an empty tomb. And our God loves to bear precious fruit through crazy situations so we can always choose hope. So this is what I do. I want you to share this video because I want to make sure that everyone has only positive expectations as it relates to Jesus and the work that he wants to do in and through our lives. And in the comment section, I want you to tag somebody who is doing a great job of walking out that biblical hope. That's a great shining example of, of a person, a, a hopedivist, an activist of hope in this day and age. And I want you to thank them so much for doing that and say, hey, I see you walking in hope and it's blessed me tremendously. And God bless you today.